if you want to amend the standing orders, that is something that we should discuss. If you want to seek clarification, if you want to expand the rights of the speaker outside of the Honorable House, you want to contemplate that, then do so. But don't try to make it up as you go along and now want to govern the conduct of members outside the Honorable House. And I make absolutely no apologies for calling out the Speaker's actions. Thank you. Opposition leader, you've been given until the end of the month to issue an official apology. Do you intend to do so? No. Why? Do you expect that this will get to court? I don't want to anticipate uh, what the government is doing. Nothing surprises me. The government has no uh, authority, no standing in this matter. Just as we are out here, we are outside of the House, the standing orders don't govern conduct or behavior outside of the Honorable House. All of the standing orders are to guide the operations inside the House so that there is no disruption for the business that needs to take place inside of the House. That is their opinion. Uh, they made a recommendation. Uh, I have no intention. Sir, but are you not undermining, in this case, the decision by the Privileges Committee? No, but the Privileges Committee had no authority. They could call a meeting on anything. Let me be clear. That is the only thing that I agreed. They could call a meeting, but they have no standing. They cited no point of order. They, standed, they stated no standing order that was violated. They stated no privilege that was violated. <laughs>